Is This a Great State or What? is sponsored by Weoki. We got you, Oklahoma. In the days before selfies, we've all done this. We've sat for a school picture, <laughs> posed for a team photo, or maybe walked into a studio to have our pictures made. So have you ever wondered what happened to all those old negatives? Well, this evening, Galen Culver has the story of a longtime studio in Mangum, Oklahoma, and decades of history slowly coming to light. Oh yeah, very pretty. Buried treasure in acetate and perforated plastic. It actually made me cry the first time. For the past year now, Brenda Daigle and sometimes an assistant like Madison Meek have been bringing life back to a photographic archive that tells the story of Mangum, Oklahoma from the 1930s through the 1970s. The stories are absolutely amazing. Every time I come across a new negative and I'm just looking at it, I was like, this was somebody's mom and we're gonna find out who. The building that once housed the old Fike studio is still there, but the Fikes themselves sold out more than 40 years ago. The black and white of their history shows a busy place where high school seniors, families, and babies would come and sit for a session by the time this place closed, close to a half million negatives crowded for space next to the dark room. They were probably about to be thrown in the dumpster. So someone saved them, bought them, and brought them here. They sat on shelves here for a while too until Brenda moved to town from Florida with a master's in public history. It could be in another box or it could be just gone. She wrote a grant to have the negative scanned and restored. This is what she does now every day and what she'll continue to do until all 500,000 are brought back. It's going to take quite a while for us to get all of the negatives done. Yeah, this is, this is a years long project, right. right? She scans as many as 50 negatives in a day. Brenda likes this the baby pictures baby especially. Picture. It looks like she is about three months old. As each photo is scanned on her computer, Brenda posts them to a Facebook page that often gets immediate responses. Everybody was like, holy cow. <laughs> the girls basketball team from the White Flat School, a 1953 Mangum All-Stars game, every scan reveals something. Even negatives as damaged as these can be saved. The Fike negatives have revealed much already, with boxes more to go. I absolutely love my job. In Mangum, Galen Culver, News 4. Is this a great state or what? What a cool project that is. The grant that Brenda Daigle received was for $20,000, and she told Galen it paid for a good scanner, new sleeves and boxes for the negatives, and a little gas money to get her to and from her house to the museum.